There's a self-denial, a self-rejection that has gone on through generations. Can we cite some examples, perhaps, Dr. Newby, of what occurred in slavery that has continued to affect us today? Well, <clears throat> slavery really was a degraded position. I mean, it was a low-status position, and people were not <clears throat> given the regard, regard um, that, that was really a part of their humanity. And this denial continued even after slavery. So in, in fact, what happens is, is that uh, blacks, I mean, we live in a society in which, I was one author phrased it, the rightness of whiteness. So which means that by definition, being black is associated with being slave. It's also associated with that degraded status. And so consequently, it's a badge that, 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 that has been, went, been with us for, for all these years, really. So you're taught. Uh, that everything black is bad, primitive, childlike, unappealing, such as African art. Many times, you know, we were told that that was childlike or, oh, that's ugly. Uh, certainly something that many authors feel was worked at very strongly to keep you on the bottom rung. Well, this is true. I, I think that what slavery did on a day by day, a month by month, a year by year, in fact, a generation by generation, slavery taught black people they were powerless. Okay, they were powerless in a society that was totally dominated by white people. Uh, obviously, I think the consequences of that, if one grows up in an environment where one feels that they are powerless, how are they ever going to compete? How are they ever going to function effectively in a society that is based on competition? Mm -hmm.